Hey guys, and welcome back to- wait, wait a second, this is Twilight Princess, what are we doing with this? I thought we were finished. Well, yeah, we are, but turns out I just found out about this glitch like a couple of days ago. Apparently it's been around for a couple of years, but I'm a little bit slow or something. And, uh, this is pretty much gonna tell you how to get infinite bomb arrows in Twilight Princess, so, uh, as far as I know, this works in both the GameCube and the Wii versions. So, uh, whichever one you're playing, you should be able to follow along. Uh, but anyway, the first thing we're going to do, as you can see, is we're going to start up Plum's little mini game with the bird and the fruit. So what we want to do is actually just crash right at the start, just like that. And uh, this is going to be important in a little bit. Um, and you'll see why that is. <laughs> I guess it'll only be a few seconds. But anyway, we're going to wake up back out here in Lake Hylia, and uh, Plum is going to come back down and ask us if we want to try it again. And tell us how lame we are. And uh, we're going to tell them no, we don't want to go again. Uh, basically, we're just kind of setting that up as sort of a respawn point. You'll see in a little bit. Uh, but we're going to want to transform into a human and make sure your claw shot is equipped. Uh, jump out here into the water and then you'll kind of see this little like corner here where the wall is. Uh, if you hold L and your claw shot button, you just kind of swim through it like that. And uh, it's pretty easy as long as you're anywhere on that little corner section, you'll get through it. I mean, it's not really that hard to do. Uh, but just keep strafing over and uh, holding up the claw shot until you fall and die. And now we're going to pretty much respawn where we were the first time, you know, when we failed that minigame. So now Plum is going to ask us once again if we want to go again. We're going to say yes this time. But the problem is we're a human instead of the wolf, so what's going to happen? Well, as you can see, there's just nothing being held on to. So if we go and crash again, we're actually going to wake up in a, a different spot this time. And you'll see where that is right about now. Holy crap, we're just kind of out in the middle of nowhere. But also, as you can see, when we look down the river, we can see the pots from that boat game where you had to shoot them with bomb arrows. And that's basically where we're going to get the bomb arrows. Uh, but we got to glitch it just a little bit more first. So let's transform into a wolf and jump down into the water. And basically, the only way you're supposed to be able to get down there is if you've completed the boat game, right? So what the game thinks is that we've completed the boat game as a wolf, and holy crap, it gets all glitchy looking on us. Uh, I guess that's the result of them trying to get the wolf polygons to, like, assume the position that Human Link would be in. You can kind of see, like, his two front paws, and here in a second, his head's going to, like, pop out over there. It's just kind of disturbing, but... <laughs> It's all messed up, but it's okay, that's normal, you know, that, that's gonna happen. So now we're gonna get asked if we want to uh, do the boat game again. And uh, this time we're doing it as a wolf. So again, the game's gonna kinda get a little glitchy, and instead of actually putting us in the boat, it's gonna put us kinda up there on that little walkway. So now the boat game's gonna start, and as we look through the railing, we can see the boat kinda taking off without us. I think that's hilarious, personally, but... Uh, so now we're pretty much just free to walk around. Interestingly enough, we can actually go talk to Iza as a wolf, which is kind of interesting. I don't know how often you get to talk to normal people as a wolf. Uh, but anyway, now we're pretty much done. All that's left to do is to just warp out to go to wherever we want to go. And uh, basically the reason this is going to give us infinite bomb arrows is because you get them for that boat game in order to hit all the pots, you know? So, uh, since we're just warping out instead of completing the game, the game's actually not going to reset our inventory. It's going to keep us with those bomb arrows on our X button. And sure enough, whenever we go and transform into a human, we see that on X is those bomb arrows. So, now we pretty much just have infinite bomb arrows. As you can see, there's no number over there uh, telling how many we have left. And uh, if we go check in our inventory, it's not using up any arrows, it's not using any bombs. Uh, and we're pretty much just free to do whatever we want, just shoot all the trees around here and see if we can hit this guy. Oh, what a shot. Man, that was pretty good. <laughs> kind of proud of myself for that one. And let's go shoot the barrier. Let's see if we can make some big sequence break and destroy it. Ah, nope, too strong. But anyway, when we go into our inventory, you can see we still have 100 arrows, and uh, also you can put other items on your Y if you need to use, like, claw shots or something in order to uh, get through the dungeon. And your bomb arrows still remain fully functional on X, so as long as you don't put anything over them, they'll stay there. Uh, but anyway, that's pretty much it. I've probably made it sound more complicated than it is, but really it's not that bad. You can just follow along with what I did. So I'll see you guys next time, and have fun with your bomb arrows.